Wow. Ho, 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 ho. There we are. We got 200 people waiting. Wow. Wow, really? Yeah. Okay, everybody, tell me if the audio sounds horrible. It might be way too loud. Yeah, we. Uh, if it's way too loud. Changed, let me know. Well, apparently, Dick changed the audio. Yeah, I changed it. Look, see, that's fine. It's just clipping the red a little bit. <sighs> yeah, that's. Yeah, but is it? That's, that's, that's is it good. clipping and then pushing it to the red line, or is it? No, leave, the red leave is, the chat up so we can at least is, see. Clip is done. Clip is when it's over the red No, line. but you can be clipping and then retake the clipping audio and push it to negative three, and it's still going to sound... George, what do you know about <laughs> clipping? And then Kramer comes in. He's like, yeah, Bob Sacamano hired a clipper. He goes, a clipper? What does a clipper do? Well, he clips you, Jerry. He clips you. <laughs> Boy, I sure go for a good clicker, right? Is that what we're having right now? It's very, It's yes. a little loud? But How do you mean a little loud? Everyone says it's good. good well, that just good, means, good, yeah, good. turn it down on your system. <laughs> Mine's loud. <laughs> Vito, yell about something. <laughs> the thing about bop figures is somebody posted a link to me that was, uh, mm -hmm. you know how they can look at which Reddit boards, like, Co correspond to other ones like people who like this Reddit board also like this. Oh, Reddit like board. liberals and our liberals and our pedophiles. No, not that. I don't know if there's a. I don't think there's an R pedophiles. I could be wrong, but uh, it was if you're uh, a frequently into R anti theism. Yeah. Uh, the top one of the top five uh, subreddits those people also frequent is R Funko Pops. <laughs> <laughs> our atheism or yeah. our theism? Anti-theism. So oh, basically, God. like, like Fucking going beyond atheism me. to the point that you hate religion. So if you hate religion, you no, might like going beyond little it, toys. Going beyond it, hating religion, and then even going beyond that and joining a subreddit. Right. Which is too far. And then worshipping <laughs> tiny plastic idols of your favorite Marvel characters <laughs> or whatever the fuck else. Uh, um, whatever happened to that poor A.A. A. Lewis guy? When, who was that? I'm in li the guy who single handedly destroyed the athe atheism movement. Oh, the one who went on uh, Fox News, was it? Or was that the anti <laughs> No, guy? no, no. I'm enlightened by my own knowledge or something the like that. The guy wrote his own a. quote a. Lewis. that they, yes. Yes, that he quoted yeah. himself. Yeah, I saw that's going around again. <laughs> yeah, atheists all sit around hoping that someday when they're a pointless pile of bones and nothing, yeah. that someone will quote a cool thing they said. It's like it the highest be that good one. of atheism, apparently. <laughs> Somebody might quote me one day, but not a. Oh, you know what? They will quote A.A. A. Lewis until the end of time. Yeah. What was it? Let's quote him right now. What was it? A.A. <laughs> uh, a. Lewis. Was that his name? Atheism. I hope so. Atheism quote. Let's see. This In this moment, I am euphoric. Yeah, that yeah. was it. In this moment. Is a quote written by Redditor... A. A. Lewis. A. A. Lewis. And it just, I am not a philosopher. I am not a professional quote maker. Oh, just to be clear, I'm not a professional quote maker. I'm just an atheist teenager who greatly values his intelligence and scientific fact over any silly fiction book written 3,500 years ago. Wow. That being said, I am open to any and all criticism. And here's his quote. In this moment, I am euphoric. Not because of any phony God's blessing, but because I am enlightened by my intelligence. That's deep. Put that on a bumper sticker, huh? From from A. A. Lewis, one of the great thinkers of the modern age. He did it though. Somebody pointed out quoted forever. Yeah. He destroyed he really, atheism. <laughs> I don't know if that destroyed <laughs> atheism. Are we doing this thing? You wanna do it? Yeah, let's let's do go! It. Bump that up. Yeah! Biggest problem in the universe! Welcome to the biggest problem in the universe! The only show that ranks every problem in the universe from Putin's aggression to crypto bro depression. Mm. I'm your host, Dick Mashes, and joining me as always is Vito Giswaldi. Hi, Dick. What's up, buddy? How you been? Good. You're all full of piss and piss today. Oh, that reminds me, the great Salvo Pancakes is calling in <laughs> at, the, at 7 o'clock, the 7 o'clock hour today. I don't, do you, I, don't under, I, don't, I don't hate Salvo Pancakes. I just think he's getting... I wish he was my son. He's getting a little taste of uh, his a own piss? medicine, it feels like. Of his own piss medicine? Yeah. 
But he seems to be enjoying it, don't you think? Is he? Does he enjoy this? Well, I think part of why he likes it He's is... He's rolling around like Sonic the Hedgehog in there. He's <laughs> definitely... <laughs> Boom! That's what he does. Yeah. <laughs> He's pl he's playing it very well. He's playing it the way you probably should play it, unlike a flamenco who completely tanked his own uh, brand after a number of allegations. Flamenco should shave a, a gayer mustache. <laughs> I was listening to flamenco went on Keemstar's like stream. Yeah, that went pretty about, well for him, don't you it think? Went terrible. And I'm like, flamenco, you're bad at this. <laughs> what do you mean? What what's bad about what he did? Because he goes on. He there. wasn't defending like. Shota correctly or Paul? well, because the way the way he talks about things is in this like, well, I wouldn't actually know, and I'm like, no, you do know, you know everything, because he went, well, from my understanding, age play is this, and I'm like, no, 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 not from your understanding, you know exactly what it is. Well, man, you're yeah. a weird, kinky deviant, and like you're fully yeah. familiar with all the yeah. different fetishes and whatever. So stop with this detached, like, well, I think Shotokan might be. You know exactly what it is. Just say what you know and be honest about it. Yeah. But he's trying to be all like sneaky, and be like, you know, I wouldn't actually know. I'm not in those spaces. It's like, I think you are. <laughs> your, no, you own know, the space. Yeah. What do you mean you're not in this space? You know what they're talking about, and you keep chiming in with, well, actually, it's this, this, and this. Okay, well, that means you know about it. So just <laughs> Flamenco's like a reverse Columbo. You know, Columbo's yeah. like, one more thing. <laughs> one more and then thing. He, he busts you, but Flamenco's like, you're like, is it the raining? And he's like, well, I mean, people actually say that it's raining, but I mean, I don't, apparently, I apparently, what that's, what, I mean, that's what I would say if I were to point out that it was raining. It is what it is. 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 All these guys just need to stop playing this little, <laughs> I don't, I couldn't possibly, know, like, you're all weird sexual. I like cartoon you, pornography. You grew up on the boom, internet. Boom, Clearly, boom, you're boom. watching anime porn. I want to fuck Maid Marian from Robin Hood and Disney version. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Yeah, just own up to it. <laughs> I've read Boy Soprano. It's fine. It's not. It's, not, it's whatever. It's actually kind of boring. Anime, the, the drawing. No, 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 no. I have a problem with this. What? The the artsmanship is just not erotic at all. Yeah, exactly. It's not even that. Well, good. How are you turned? Then you're just turned on by the ideas. That's. <laughs> no, I like. I'm saying it's like it's like the art is distracting. It's like it's distractingly bad. It's, it's like an amateur work. the guy's not like a professional. <sighs> I I do want to for if Super Killer number two happens. Unfortunately, I already have a hentai cover lined up. Yeah, but if uh, if I do Super Killer issue two, which I plan to, I'm gonna get the artist of Boy Soprano. To Actually, do a cover. Vito, a fan already made oh, this. God, what not you're this describing. shit. What? Let me see. Where did they do it? No, they didn't. <laughs> yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Somebody did a. Somebody did the hentai. Oh man, come on. Where the fuck are you guys Good. for me now? No, it's not there. You're supposed to post it in the fan art channel, you idiot. You fucked me over! <laughs> Fucking Discord! Anyway, from the... Yeah, I just think these guys need to own their deviancy, and I guess Salvo's kind of doing that. What do you mean, kind of? He posted a picture of a toilet. <laughs> yeah, but he's doing that because he has Said, to. Get in. You know? <gasps> Oh, man, I can't. Somebody send it to me. If somebody has this supposed Directly. new super killer thing, feel free to uh, send it to Dick somehow. Okay, you ready for the... Oops. Who won? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, the desexification of media. All right, another W for the V-Man. Another V for Victory. Number one. People don't want their boobs getting taken away. It's a real pro I'm surprised it hadn't come up before as I was going into that problem. I'm like, I feel like I did this one, but I guess not. I didn't do Tifa's tits being small. Yeah, how did whole... you not get into it? I must have blown my wad on my show talking about that. Yeah, and I stole it right out from under you. Uh, th what I hate most about your problem winning is that the problem name is so unsexy. Yeah, well, that's part of the problem. That's part of the problem. I should have said not getting enough big anime titties in your face. Yeah, then I would that would be cool. <laughs> that would be better. Yours is like not enough anime titties. Lex Friedman. Uh manliness gurus. Uh deserve Second. to be up there. And then on a different show that would have been number one. But people want their video game and anime titties. Yeah. On a different show that would have been blast. Yes. Manliness gurus. <laughs> There's a vacuum now in the space. I know. Well, we've retards lost, giving we've lost platitudes. Andrew Tate. We've lost who was the guy who was putting dildos in his butt? Jack Murphy. Jack Murphy. Yeah. 
Um, we keep, would they keep next? dropping like flying? We lost Salvo. I don't know. Is nah, Sal- Salvo's. Is it masculine? Salvo. We'll see. Salvo's un- oh, what's up, buddy? Salvo should take oh, over as Thank the masculinity you. advocate. I'm of looking times. like uh, Neil Hamburger now. Ooh. <laughs> Why? Why? Why did Salvo pancakes <laughs> take Michael Jackson? <laughs> I like you like Neil Hamburger, but you don't watch. To the bathroom at Auschwitz. Why, Neil? I don't think you have a joke there. Well, because he- <laughs> well, the urinal was broken. Oh, <laughs> fuck you, That's Vito. That is good. a good Neil Hamburger That's joke. Good Neil fuck Hamburger you. Joke. Yes, yes. So you're a Neil Hamburger fan. I'm a Greg Turkington on cinema fan. It's his dead name. Don't no, see- it's not his dead name. You got to be watching on cinema at the cinema. Shoulder nipples, terrible negative. problem. Not as big of a problem as cum, <laughs> which should have been number one. I can only imagine the voicemails I'm gonna get this fucking week. Who may all may. I got was a million comments. It's pretty disturbing. Pretty disturbing take on it. It's not to be disturbing. Honest. It's totally normal. Comes fucking. It's the grossest shit. It causes. It causes STDs. It causes unwanted pregnancies. <laughs> It is one of the great evils of our world. Okay. Humeme says, uh, it just sounds like Vito is craving a vasectomy. I would up my tier to 10 bucks a month if he gets one. No, because don't you still sh- you still shoot semen with a vasectomy. You just don't shoot You literally. Sperm. <laughs> Wait, what? I thought you still have seminal you sh- fluid, but yeah. you don't have the sperm in the What's seminal semen? fluid. I thought semen were the snakes. Right. So you'd still have cum, though. Okay, but you said you still shoot semen. Sorry. Is that slippery seminal stuff? Seminal semen? Fluid. Okay. It's com- it's com- seminal fluid it's contains complicated. the semen. So we could have a big argument about vaccines, but <laughs> when it comes to what is a vasectomy and what's a semen, I want a little cloud, totally blown I want a little out. cloud to come out of my dick. A little fluffy cloud that From just Final floats Fantasy's, away. Oh, like Mario? Yeah. With the, like Lakitu comes out <laughs> throwing spinies everywhere? Yes. Petty says, hey, Vito, can I sign your flag? I'm not a ho-hol. But I'm more right wing than Nick Fuentes, so you could definitely consider me a Nazi. Oh, we got to get think? the flag signed. I've decided. You want to bring it to? I think if we go to Philadelphia. We're going to bring the Ukraine flag and. Uh, okay. Only the I don't I think only the big names get to sign it though. None of the fans. <laughs> Fuck the fans. <laughs> I guess there's a lot of room on there. There's not enough room for everybody. There's gonna be like a bunch of people there. What do you mean only the so me and Carl like get to you sign and it? Carl, then? like Tony from I don't know, maybe everybody can you sign know. it. We got two flags. Why do, you, <laughs> why do I fuck everything up? Why do you say stuff like that? Because I don't care. I about- only want the fans <laughs> to sign that. <laughs> Because what do I care? Because, like, half the fans are going to turn on us at some point and try to dox us or some shit. I don't trust any so? of these fucking people. It's fun to sign things. Like yeah, a yearbook. All right, everybody can sign I don't want to look at just Carl's signature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I also, it's going to be like, oh, Jimmy from fucking Philly. And I'm going to be like, I don't need to remember that guy. <laughs> Who gives a shit about that? These people pay for where you live. <laughs> they support your life. Some of Don't them. you want to be reminded? Of, why do you think I keep all this shit in this room? Right, it's like a to, reminder you have of to prove who built this house. That you're a Vitafile Plus or a Dickhead Plus. <laughs> You're going to show us on your phone, and then you're allowed to sign okay. the flag. Okay, then that you can sign my half, the blue, yeah. and just anybody That's can sign it. my half the yellow, I get the P half? <laughs> yeah. It's bullshit. I'll take whatever half you want, yeah, and anybody, sign who you like more. Anybody sign their sign half. It. Benjamin Swearingen said, your impression of Tate uh, have led to my algorithm, algorithms all updating me to feed me chess content. Oh, God. Oh, wow. What a nightmare. Got to, got to play chess. Got to play the chess. Uh, Vito, please steal elections better than Magic the Gathering cards so we continue. We can continue to get more weapons. That'd be a terrible mule. I'd get found out immediately. Yeah, I think you would be. Great bonus episode, says Michael Holcomb. It was a great bonus episode. The biggest problem in 2022 now available to our Patreon subscribers at yeah. patreon.com slash biggest problem. Uh, John Redcorn says dentists are backed up like six months at the moment. Mid-December, I had to call around on the 4th. Uh, try, I got lucky. Got one where they had a cancellation for two. Okay, well, he had rough. See, dentist, going to the dentist. That's a big problem. Voted on. Six month wait. What's up with. Yeah, I don't even know how to get to a doctor. I got to do a. 
I gotta get an appointment. Uh, Rude Boy says, uh, sent this picture of Vito's Twitter. Oh, Vito's God. Twitter. They wanted me to fuck you. Vito's Twitter. They what? Wanted Vito me what did I do? I on Twitter. What? Well, that's a small Okay, well, this was funny. Shut up. This is Vito's just a good Twitter. Joke. <laughs> Vito's Twitter. Vito being Vito on Twitter. So that's a good joke. You're saying this is good. What you put here? Vito on Twitter. Vito being Vito on on Twitter. Turn this off, okay? Because everybody was. I let all your stupid stingers play all the way through. Because every well, how long is that fucking? I guess people do like Vito on Twitter. I've never listened to the whole thing. I thought it was like two minutes long. Because everybody's complaining about the fact that in Last of Us. Yeah, the girl. Let's be real. Is a ter- she does not look like the girl from the video game. She's kind of got this weird Cro Magnon look. As she I looks quoted. ugly. She's and it messes it up. It kind of does. I don't want to. I don't. I'm not going to fight zombies <laughs> to save some ugly, it's the same dumb, ugly, ugly bitch. Yeah. I don't think Joel would. Either. I need a hot 14 year old if I'm going to save you, you <laughs> bitch. I need like a Disney princess or Jesus's mom, 14 and smoking ass hot. Otherwise, you're on your own. I don't care if you could cure zombies. <laughs> Well, you I had just, a different take. I just think you could have found a, you know, an attractive young actress. It's yeah. weird, you know, especially after the game. Puh, yuck. This you is know, a picture of her. She could play like Ellie's weird friend who's like a jaded lesbian or something. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> they just don't look the same. On the left, they don't look even close. Hot. Look, I'm not hot. saying she's. I'm not going to say the 14 year old from the original. Wait, game she's is how old? Smoke. I think she's 14. Oh uh, no! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> anyway, I just think the yeah. Look, the actress is a little off. It's, it's definitely off. Kay. Anyway, I made a little joke because everybody's oh, complaining about one thing. Classic Vito. And then I take it the other way and I say part of the appeal of the original Last of Us was the will they won't they dynamic between Joel and Ellie. This, and this ruins, ruins that. that. That's a good joke. She's so ugly. I fucking hate you guys. <laughs> Yeah, Joel's not gonna fuck her. Good Vito's right. Twitter. That's my Good Twitter. catch. Vito's Twitter. Yes, I Vito keep, <laughs> keep obsessively <laughs> screenshotting my Twitter, you fucking idiot. Isn't that what you want no. Twitter for? No. Why do you have it then? To <laughs> don't know. post to yourself? Because it's a fucking <laughs> little, it wraps its arms around you and you feel like you gotta update it with every little stupid thought you have or you're not This alive. audience will keep wrapping your, your uh, its arms around you until you're dead. Yes, I'm dying. Uh, let's see. Vito, is this you? Power Glove Handjob sent this in. Let me try to pull this is up. Is this you? Uh, this is a. This is the guy who discovered semen, I think. Oh, well, don't read this because I'm using this later. Okay. <laughs> yes, close out of that. And then Rem Dickman says, Dick, this needs to be read in your voice. I think it's the same thing you sent me. Yes. Do you want me to read this? I thought you might. I mean, Andrew Tate is updating us from <laughs> oh, live yeah. from prison. <laughs> okay, here. I, f- I want to know what's happening. Ooh. Ooh. Andrew. Oh, Andrew. Oh, oh. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, my throat's a little sore. Oh no, <laughs> blowing. You got All to go to. You got to go to prison, Vito. And I don't want to go to prison. Hustlers Paradise. No. The government pays you to work, <laughs> work out all day. I stole this joke from a meme. Uh, so Andrew, uh, yes? it, I mean, I heard you're not having the best time in prison. There's a lot going on, but I mean, do you have a statement about your ongoing troubles the in the, in the Matrix? My, uh, the government took my cars. Uh, well, that's how not can good. I, how can I tell young men to reject consumerism without my 33 Bugattis and Lamborghinis? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, yeah, they're taking all your stuff. They're seizing your mansion. Uh, but it looks like you put out a statement of some sort. Uh, they took my brother away from me. Uh, they put us in cells. We can't even. We can't even touch each other. Uh, uh, you miss my touching brother. your brother. I yeah. miss touching my brother. We sleep together every night. Uh, Andrew, uh, but you need kings. to be. You have to be strong for the face of the masculinity uh, movement, yeah, right? You, you have to stay. Hear my, you want to hear my statement? I, I do want to uh, hear your statement, I keep Andrew. Forgetting I have to tilt my head this way. <laughs> I, I was made. I was made for battle. For battle. A warrior of the light. There's been too much winning going on for the real world. Wow. My enemies hope to attack me with lies from the Matrix. Yeah, the Matrix. When I do nothing but prove everything I have been saying all along. Right. They, They just needed to shut me up. Why, though? 
Well, because Tate isn't good for the Matrix. Oh, my. Tate is good for individualism. <laughs> they, they, do not want, they do not want you to surround yourself with powerful men, ice cream men, and Bugattis. <laughs> Bugattis Veyrons. They destroyed the family unit. Yeah. I am the family unit <laughs> with my 20 whores, <laughs> 20 whores and my 60 supercars <laughs> and hypercars unit. and my brother and cuddling up to Sneeko. And he looks like he's being groomed and raped in the video that people post. When we keep grabbing him and thinking him around. Think he That's the family <laughs> unit that they're trying to destroy. Well, don't okay? rape, don't rape Sneeko. Beat the night with Tristan and Sneeko. That's what I miss. <laughs> That's what I need. <laughs> <laughs> they destroy the family unit until they ban any loud opposition. Yeah. Well, uh, you got An a lot. idea cannot die, Vito. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll be back online soon. You think you're going to get those cars back? Uh, no, I have better cars. <laughs> My, I have other cars and space cars. Where did all your women go? All the ones you had locked in that uh, bunker. Uh, <laughs> hopefully they was buried in, with the house. <laughs> like a pyramid. Yeah, they sealed it up with all the women inside. I refuse to leave my fellow men in the dark, Vito. Yeah. Someone needs to so send the light. Who better than Tate? Who be I ask you, who better than Tate? <laughs> I, I, can think Vito? Of, I can think of some people who might be better for leading our nation's young men. Name one. Not <laughs> not you. <laughs> Name one. <laughs> their fathers, maybe. Like, you know, their actual <laughs> families. <laughs> Support Don't units, say friends. The if you were a woman, I would <laughs> strangle the fuck out of you right now. All right, All right Andrew. All right, goodbye. Have fun in go prison, find buddy. My brother. Wow, what a great job. Hey, what a, thanks for. I'm glad he called in again. Thanks, Rem. To check in. I should have charged you money for that, though. Okay, um, you want to start? You're probably, it's already 6 30. Salvo is going to be in here soon. Well, real quick. Uh, oh, okay. I want to do a voted up segment. Okay. And I want to lead into it with uh, this is kind of a tribute song. Oh, cool. Uh, that I did not sing, but it okay. kind of uh, commemorates. Okay. Some important things. Just okay. play it, you'll see. Oh, Ashley, oh yeah, okay. That's me singing that. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Devil in disguise. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like you got some, what did you get, some gay guy off Fiverr to sing a stupid song you wrote? It's the Ashley Babbitt, that's the memorial. It is Ashley Babbitt Death Day, of course. Three horns of I thought I could make it like a duet, you know? With me, with myself? No, I'll give it a second. But a hero cop shot her ass, so we could all be free. I'm saying, Ashley Babbitt. That stupid bitch. That fucking whore. I'd bring her back to life just to kill her once more. Dumb mugga wench. Terrorist slut. And if you disagree, then you can vote it up. Vote it up, folks. The exciting segment. I thought you were going to say rape about. her mom in the butt. <laughs> hey, well, her mom got arrested today. Isn't that fun? Rest in piss, What did Rosa Ashley Parks Babbitt, you, get uh, arrested for? She was uh, trying to ride the bus too hard. Mm. Jaywalking? All right. Jaywalking. Dick, come. People downvoted this problem from last week. But I think they might reconsider after this new tidbit that you were getting into. Okay. That the men who discovered sperm also thought it was disgusting. Yeah. Formerly discovered by Anthony Phillips Van Wenhoek, a 17th century Dutch scientist and the father of microbiology, at first, he avoided examining semen due to his religious beliefs. This was the man who invented the high-powered telescopes uh, or microscopes of his time. Oh, what an asshole. <laughs> well, everybody was like, everybody kept going uh. to this guy and being like, can you look at this? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> like, literally, that was his whole life. Can you look at this? <laughs> and all these people kept going to him, and they're like, hey, you got to look at what's in that shit. Like, look at my hand. I've looked at hands before. <laughs> uh, look at my hand. Well, he looked at semen, even though he personally found it unseemly, but he finally caved to the public pressure. In 1677, he looked at it and wrote to the Royal Society about what he saw. He said, if your lordship should consider that these observations may disgust or scandalize the learned, I earnestly beg your lordship to regard them as private and to destroy them as your lordship sees fit. 
So he saw the semen snakes, <laughs> and he said, I don't think Gotta get rid the of learned this. man should know of this. Anyway, that problem is currently number 312 with 230 down votes. <laughs> vote it down. Uh, it's fucking dumb. It's a dumb problem. It's a great program. Uh, great problem. Another great problem, Dick, from episode 43 was criminalizing heterosexuality. Yeah. And I want you to take a look at this video right now and tell me if you think there's anything wrong with this man. Okay. The video I sent you a second ago. Uh, whoops. Did I not load it right? The, it was on YouTube, right? Uh, oh, that's why that's there? I think so, yes. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah, it's a short stut something. Ooh. Ooh. Good sir. Your car's awesome. What do you do oh, for a living? <laughs> I race cars, oh, play golf, and fondle big breasted women. <laughs> yeah. I take the weekends and major holidays off. Okay. <laughs> that is quite the career. I'm looking to get into that. Well, also, if you're interested, I got a hell of a dental plan. Okay. <laughs> you do it all. You do it all. Yeah. And you participate oh, in this man. activity. <laughs> that bitch what a is laughing like he's about what to get a winner. Oh, Dick. Good sir. Your this Apple okay. Vice President well, Tony on, Blevins. Just exited. Well, well, yeah, but I have to move the thing because I don't know right. what I have. I could have fucking. I get it. Print. Okay. Well, that was, uh, of course, Apple Vice President Tony Blevins, who has been fired from Apple after 22 years following this viral video. Uh, again, answering, I have rich cars, play golf, and fondle big-breasted women. Uh, this video apparently resulted in complaints from several hundred employees <laughs> regarding this man's what an asshole. Uh, horrible heterosexual proclivities. Uh, this is, uh, again, the former vice president has been terminated. We don't know specifically if it was this video, but he's that's got what he's plenty of claiming. money, whatever. Fuck Still, him. they're criminalizing heterosexuality, Dick. It's terrible. Yeah. That's problem number 125 with 330 up votes. Don't forget to vote it up. That's happening to Salvo, too. And, uh, oh, Ash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna all, all right. I don't want to hear myself anymore. Weird to hear that, I bet. Uh, do you want to start us off with the problem today? Oh, because I'm the winner? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, well, you know what? If As long as we're talking about the beauty of uh, January 6th, the day that we destroyed a terrorist sleeper cell led mm -hmm. by the terrorist Ashley Babbitt, yeah. there's a lot of people who cast doubt on that official version of events, which has been fact-checked across the board. These people like to claim that the event was some sort of false flag. And my problem, Dick, is the false. I honestly can't false fucking flags. believe that that's what false flag, false, false flag meant. You're talking about today. I'm talking about. You're talking about all the, sorts of the conspiracy FBI bullshit. Let it, Ray Epps pushing the protesters I, in, and the I, FBI opening the fucking door. Hold on. The magnetically hold sealed on. door. Go ahead. Hold on. So I, I think it was on our bonus episode. I can't fucking that believe you this. come at me with this Ray Epps coming at you right now, happen. bitch. What are, you, what are you trying to claim? You're trying to claim Ray Epps is an FBI agent. Yeah, he's not an FBI. Yes, agent. Yes, he is. How? Because he said, everybody tomorrow, we're going into the Capitol. Baked Alaska caught him. And then he said to Congress, then he texted his nephew, I orchestrated it. That and then he sounded like a FBI fucking agent. Re Why was he doing Why was he doing all this stuff then? These claims about Ray Epps have been made on uh, Fox News and come from your t t typical right-wing grifter psychopaths, <laughs> largely based on a video taken just before violence erupted at the Capitol, showing Mr. Epps whispering into the ear of a man named Ryan Samsel. Have you seen that? Is that no. So you don't oh, even know maybe. anything about I don't know. So you don't even Look, know what I you're know talking about. I know the FBI about. did it. They opened the magnetic <laughs> doors. The tomb was the tomb was empty. Mr. Epps is a former Marine. He's 60 years old. Where do you think the FBI <laughs> recruits from, jackass? <laughs> okay. Fucking army. Everybody's <laughs> a fed. Everybody's a false if you, flag. If you said, what's his background? I would have said military. The day it happened, what were they all telling us? Well, actually, Antifa dressed up as right-wing guys, and they snuck in That's there. That's true, too. That happened a lot of places, too. All the Such violence and stuff. Stupid bullshit. This has become the problem. Of our ongoing inability to live in reality, perpetrated by people like Alex Jones and Tucker Carlson and whatever the fuck else, is that anytime something doesn't fit the way you feel about the world, 
If you're a guy and you go, well, all us right wing guys are upstanding citizens who would never possibly commit violence and break into a fucking <laughs> congressional hall of My uh, fucking head is going to explode. Then you get to go, well, that just means everything that disagrees with what I am is a secret Antifa FBI federal agent false flag event. You know what? That- you're a fed. You're a fucking <laughs> fed sent here by the government to pacify me. I wish I was Buddy a fed. Buddy up to me. You're Honestly, probably getting paid big bucks. I would be a great fucking fed because you guys are idiots. No podcaster eats like <laughs> you <laughs> that's true uh, where does all my money come from guys it's the same shit it's all the crisis actor false flag nonsense every time there's a school shooting you go well that's just the feds they hire a bunch of kids and pay them lo- don't give me that little look like well, well, well what happened with stage co- what happened in vegas then where the head where'd that guy go He's what, just I, fucking uh, unloading, and then he's gone, and his then his brother, who said something's fucked here, is found with terabytes of kitty porn in his fucking hard drive? That doesn't make no sense. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. Lots of guys have brothers who are child pornography enthusiasts, I'm sure. <laughs> happens all the time. Uh, look, I'm not saying the feds have never, not ever done anything sneaky or whatever. They always are doing sneaky stuff. That's their limited, job. They don't have infinite resources to achieve, like, global... Just no- open a door. How's that fucking it? Oh, yeah. Uh, hey, everybody, tomorrow, we got to go in there and fuck the place what up, What if I everybody? told you that the MAGA heads are dumb enough to open a door on their own account and they don't need an FBI guy to push it open for them? Who opened it from the inside? Was it locked? Was the door of Congress locked with a big they fucking mob outside? They were breaking windows to get in. Maybe somebody from inside was one of the guys and they unlocked Have it because they're friends Have you not seen the footage the of the FBI, of somebody just going like, do-do-do-do, boink, open that up? All right, they left the door open. They weren't expecting a million people to come running in. Maybe they left some doors open. They were expecting it because they were paying guys like Ray Epps. To go you get it started. No, you, you know how no many guys they had like Ray Epps? Ray Epps just got caught because Baked Alaska filmed him. They probably had 200, 100. They probably Is had it 200. even the same guy? You're saying the guy like the previous day who was yelling yeah. about going in? You're saying that was also Ray Epps? That was Ray Epps. I haven't, I haven't seen that. The one he said, tomorrow we got to go into the, we don't got to go to the, ca- Baked Alaska said, we got to go to the Capitol. And he goes, we got to go into the Capitol. And he goes, no. And everybody starts going, fed, 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 fed. They had hundreds of guys like that going, we got to go into the Capitol. I think That's how you sneaky liberal fucks operate. <laughs> or there's just one old guy who really wanted to cause trouble, who again And he didn't go to jail? Well he didn't go he didn't go in. All the, I don't think it's the same guy. I think you're referring to a different guy. We'd have to look it up. Uh, Ray Epps whispered yeah. in a guy's ear. Yeah. And right after that guy went and slugged a cop. So the theory was he told that guy, hey, go punch that cop. Uh-huh. But what he actually said was, hey, man, calm down. These cops are just doing their jobs. And the guy who punched the cop confirmed that that's what he said to him. Yeah, he but said, what's, yeah, he came so over what are you got a problem with punching cops now? What are you? I thought you were a Ralpha male. <laughs> Look, <What are> you? <laughs> I, I have my own problems with cops, okay? But it is still clearly illegal. And if it leads to breaking into the Capitol, it's not good either. <sighs> Yeah. Regardless, okay, what about this? I don't know why you love the Capitol so much. It's not just the Capitol. If you guys did it, I'd say that's awesome. (laughs) I don't love the Capitol, okay? But again, there's like that group, that Patriot Front group, okay? It's a bunch of like paramilitary white supremacist guys. Feds, more feds. Wow, how do you know they're feds? Why are they feds? They're fucking doing bad stuff. They're doing stuff that you know about. That's how I know they're feds. If they were feds, like anyone could just like trade. You can't have that many guys. They know... Who they are, they have their names, they can trace them back. There are journalists who identify their members all the time. They aren't all feds. What about the KGB? That was like half the fucking country that was, was in KGB. Russia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're so different over there. They're not as retarded as we are, I guess. Okay, wait, here, let me just ask you this. What about that fake pit, uh, kidnapping plot for that governor that was entirely orchestrated by the FBI? Yeah. You agree with that that was feds? I agree that the feds occasionally, as they infiltrate these groups, push too far to try and push people into illegal activity. Okay. But that doesn't, but this was not, why would that, why would they do that? (laughs) But didn't we find, but didn't that, uh, what do you call it? For, uh, because of that kidnapping plot, because as they bring charges, they have to identify, like, yes, our agents were within this group, right? Yeah, sometimes. Well, none of that has ever happened with January 6th. They haven't said, well, you know, we had this operative, whatever well, the yeah, fuck it's else. Kind of got a, it's kind of got a lot bigger than the other one, didn't it? It's like <laughs> is a it national, big, is it bigger it's like than the a Holocaust of the well, U.S. Well, they've made it into a Holocaust. 
Regardless, look, I'm not saying that the feds don't ever do anything, but it's always immediately, no matter what it is, no matter how inconsequential. Yeah. Like, like in Charlottesville, when that car hit that lady, everybody immediately fed. was like, that's just a fed. It's no, a fed. it's a racist weirdo who wants to hit people with a car. No, they were there threatening are... him with a gun. They Before that, they were saying, <laughs> we're going to fucking- down this fucking <laughs> route again. <laughs> <laughs> what did we end up talking about? The hor- the Charlottesville Hornets? Hornets. <laughs> do, 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 do. He was just going hard in the paint. He was just uh, giving a drive down the court. You know, you ignorant and another slut. another player got <laughs> the feds. The feds are responsible for everything, that every crime in I, America. The one that drove me the most They steal nuts. your bikes. No. They, they had sex with your wife. Okay, but you know that it gets down to the point where people are ridiculous with the things they claim is a crisis actor scenario. Sandy Hook, yeah. Okay, yeah. yes. Okay, the school Sandy shooting stuff is ridiculous. Yeah. That David Hogg kid, when, when uh, what do you call it, the Parkland shooting happened, everybody fed. started digging into that. No, he's not a fed. <laughs> <laughs> I can kill myself. They started digging into that kid, and they found yeah. that he was on the news. I'd like to dig into that kid if you know what I'm saying. Gross. Gross. They found that he was on the news. In California, like a year ago, Actor. and then people, like including Infowars, started saying, "Well, well, that's curious. He's been on the news before, huh?" Almost like the FBI was training him to make sure that he could uh, perform well yeah. in a newsworthy situation and say his lines. Meanwhile, the story in California was that he saw his friend get uh, accosted by a cop because of a stolen boogie board or something. And I'm like, so hold on. Boogie board. The fear, yeah. The How are theory- you boogie boarding in Inglewood? <laughs> I don't know. Well, that in story Inglewood. doesn't make uh, yeah, another, right, another false- fed. No. <laughs> another fed stole his boogie guys. board. You really think the FBI is out there training teenage kids? Like, all right, I don't know if you're ready for the school shooting scenario. First, we have to train you on the local news for the boogie board theft. Wait, yeah, I, do, I get- do think they're out there training, ki- not in the way you're saying, but yes. Okay. They're training kids to what? Like, do loyalty tests. The same shit that, like, African warlords do just yeah. over the internet. Like, on Discord and 4chan, like, <laughs> trying to see their penises and then, like, using that to manipulate them into, into like, getting on drugs and doing okay. crazy shit. <laughs> what kind of guy? Go- what do you think the government is exactly? Can we just, like, can, can you guys just, like, find some evidence? Again, uh, Ray Epps is a former Marine who owns a wedding venue. So, like, a murderer already. We know he's not if right. If he's an that. FBI agent, you could just, like, dig up what he's been doing over the past 20 years and probably find more than... How could I do that? A, a dude, <laughs> do, what am I going to... If this oh, guy orchestrated... fucking lawnmower if man. If this guy orchestrated January 6th, you could have all these right-wing uh, fucking uh, journalists investigate him, investigate his background, whatever else, but they won't because they know they have nothing. Bro, it's we're the saying same as when Trump went at that black lady and said, Oh, she's been stealing ballots uh, for decades. And everybody went, Yeah, she's a secret Antifa. And it's like an ancient, like an 80 year old black lady who just signed up to be an election, like, <laughs> void counter. Fed. She's not a fed. <laughs> she's just an old lady. This is nonsense. Look, 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 look. Here's why I think your problem is bad and why. Everyone should vote it down. Shut up. Because because the government lies all the time, almost all the time, okay. all, an obscene amount, and they're doing a they're doing a sickening amount of crimes. They are the U.S. government is the most the biggest criminal, violent organization on the Shut planet. Up. You should question every. What do you do? You not think that's true? The government that kills. The government is the biggest criminal. And funds organization. either directly or by funding and proxy wars. Like we're. Funding fucking violence all over the planet. Everything they do should be questioned uh, until until they wear out from trying to convince you of it. Like, no, 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 don't believe you, don't believe you, don't believe you. The problem is that it's fine to question things, but the guys who are benefiting from the wild questioning are all like, yeah, it's all fake. By the way, vote for me and buy my book and whatever else, and I, are I doing look. their own version of lying to benefit from a situation that, in reality, uh, seems yeah. quite plausible, okay? Like, these guys who are making money off being like, no, there is a secret Jewish conspiracy, and they did pretend oh, to kill all boy, those kids and whatever else. in this episode. <laughs> where... <laughs> the point is that you can't say everything is a false flag. You have to you be very— You literally can. Very... No. <laughs> no, you, you can. You, need you will some... be right more often than not. But it happens immediately without any evidence. Again, with January 6th, they said, the last just Antifa. There was, like, one guy there who was, like, an Antifa guy, and they said he orchestrated the whole thing until it came out he was How just retarded. Know? How do I know what? That it didn't and there happen? was only one guy. 
I'm they saying, all could have been. I'm saying there was one guy that they focused on at first, yeah. and then you guys couldn't nail it on him. So then you move on to another nail guy, it on somebody. and you can't nail it on them. And now you're gonna you've find. We're gonna figure this mystery. <laughs> That's called fucking solving mysteries, like Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> you know, you don't just divine yeah. it correctly. You're like the people solving the Balenciaga mysteries and yeah. trying to track down Wayfair Actually, product numbers. Yeah, it's all well, the same. We're gonna shit. find those kids. I hope you find those kids. I hope you find all the kids that Balenciaga trafficked. Yeah, we are. You false flag. <laughs> Conspiracy theory weirdo nut jobs. Then you'll look down. Then you'll just think that you caused that somehow. Conspiracy theories used to be interesting because they used to have like little facts and tidbits, and now it's just literally anything happens. You go, well, it's the feds. The feds. It is the feds. That guy's a fed. That guy's a fed. It's not even interesting anymore. You don't even know how many feds that you've come in contact with. Boring. I've seen you talking to feds in my house. I'm like, I should tell Vito. <laughs> nah, I won't. I'll let him fucking figure it out for himself on the, for the first time. I do, he want, finds I somebody do wonder which fed. of our acquaintances are feds. I know some of them must be. You don't know shit about uh, the stuff you're talking about. <laughs> Fuck you! What is? You can't just say that. You can't just. You can't just declare you don't know shit about. That's such a bullshit tactic to like destroy my vote total. Uh, well, you're retarded. <laughs> Fuck you. That's not a point. Why would you bring this in on this day? Because because last time on our bonus episode, which everyone should listen to, yeah, you brought in this Ray Epps guy, and I'm like, well, that's fascinating. <laughs> an FBI agent was telling people to go into the Capitol. I oh, look it up, and he's not he's a an FBI, FBI agent. informant a worker. You guys always criminal. You always do <laughs> this accomplice. shit where you're like you make me pause for a second because I go, well, you that should is- pause. That's good. Yeah, and then I look it up, and it's always a lie. Keep you're always looking. lying. Keep looking. Looking for the truth, Vito. Stop lying. <laughs> That's not a lie. He's a confirmed FBI. He's a confirmed FBI agent. He's no, he's not confirmed. For Forty years. He's in the fucking military. Do you think that, dude? What do you so think those guys all come the out and they're like, military. oh yeah, derp, derp, derp. Now I'm just on the uh, my fucking whole life in service was a total waste of time. And I'm not going to help the FBI with anything. Get out of here. I think that the right has access to all your little journalist sneaky guys. Why don't you send in your journalist. Project Veritas, whatever the fuck, and catch him on uh, tape. But all you have is him. Maybe we will. Good. Maybe we will you send should, in. Honestly. James O'Keefe the third. Send in Got his O'Keefe. fucking name right. Maybe we will he's send him in. Never gotten anything. Then you'll look value. like a real it's asshole bullshit. if we do that. Uh, false, false flags. Knock it off, guys. It's uh, becoming tiresome. Okay. Oh my god. Except we only have responsibility. 10 for my problem because you fucking wasted it. No, because you challenged it. me on every two seconds of it. Because what you're saying is preposterous. What you're, okay. Everything's a false flag. Every single thing. You'd be like nothing in history has ever was, happened. If it was World it was War Two, secret warlords working behind the scenes. If it was World War Two, you'd be like, guys. I would be like, guys. Uh, you might not want to uh, fuck around with these French women that want to fuck you. They might be spies. Like, yeah. don't. You might be giving away like <laughs> million. You'd be it. like, look at this fucking dick. Doesn't know what he's talking. About. These French women are here. We're badass soldiers. They want to fuck <laughs> us. They want to get down. Let's go, guys. Let's fuck these whores. And the, and, every, and the next Maybe day, we, should. we wake up dead because we got bombed. And in Whatever. this example, we are both. Nazis. I hope that that we were the Nazis. I hope that, we that was had clear to you. And talk to the French <laughs> women. Yeah, I'm not. I don't agree to this. Uh, well, you're there. Situation. You're there with I'm me. not there. You're there. I am far away. This is worse than come. No, that was great. That you problem. brought in. Fuck you. <clears throat> false false flaggers. Everything's a false flag. Everybody's a fed. <sighs> like global warming. Is Baker Alaska a fed? No. Are you, have you talked to him? No. Huh, talk to him for about ten seconds. Is he going to jail? Yeah. No, he's not. He's going to fucking not jail. Fit. Some of the other J Six guys called into my yeah. show last week. Uh, they're going to jail for four years for like, just dis- like evidence. Knock it over trash cans. Yeah, shredding. That's evidence destruction. And they're like, how? And I'm like, well, it's you know, it's a congressional uh, paper, and you trashed it, uh, so you're going to jail. Wow, cool. <sighs> Ashley Babbitt really led those guys into a bad situation. <laughs> Good thing she's dead and can't trick any more of our young men into throwing their lives away. All right. My problem is uh, gimmick Twitter accounts. Yeah. Um, them. <clears throat> yeah. They, I hate them all because they all, they all like betray, they all get big and then they betray their joke. Yeah. You know, at some point, like, you remember the God Twitter account? Oh, that's the worst. Like, it, he was just doing God stuff and everyone had a good time. And then he rug pulled, like rug then he pulling. He could make money on it. No, then he just got triggered and started going "fuck you" to all of Trump's tweets. No, yeah, <laughs> like, 
every you announcement. Drop the gimmick. Fuck you. It's like, <laughs> this is like, bro, we just had like one. Is Maddox race. running that account secretly? People feels, thought that. It feels like his kind of humor. People suggested that. Um, the incel replies. Ooh. Remember that one? No. Oh, shit. I should bring these up. To There's show a lot of you. people posting their L's as a uh, common theme. Um, incel. Let me see. Incel replies. Twitter. Oops. I dropped all my stuff. I was having fun. Can you hand me that? Yes. I was having fun with my gimmick Twitter account, the Victory News Network. Oh, yeah. Which I then had to morph into my new Twitter account because <laughs> they deleted all my other ones. Uh, you wish. Yeah. Let me see this one. Savage reply. I guess I assumed you would know these. I assumed uh, you would work up a list of them in preparation <laughs> for did, the show. I did, but I didn't. Uh, damn it. No, I didn't really prepare. See, what actually happened was... What um, about the ones that are like, dick show out of context? No, I, I like that Those one. Those are fun. Uh, the, the one actually that I'm talking about is uh, bad medical... You know that takes. one? Bad medical takes. Yeah. And a woman said, why is there so much autism? And I said, because uh, pregnant women are getting so fat. Did that and get then, reposted by Bad Medical Takes? Yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> Did they not realize it was a joke? It's not a joke. That's <laughs> what that's what autism is coming from. It's because women are so fat. Yeah, it's too many chromosomes <laughs> getting unleashed into their kid with all the Cheetos. Too many calories. Too many calories in that to kid. To count. That's why I let autistic the kids kid can't count, count all the calories he's got to count all by. the calories coming in. You're a fucking idiot. So then I said, <laughs> diagnosis triggered, and then I got blocked right away. And I was like, oh, so you're just like a fat chick running this account, and now you're all mm. pissed off that... <laughs> that maybe you're probably fat with an autistic kid, so now yeah. you're extra pissed off because you know it's probably true. What I'm well, saying. so you're narrowing it down to a certain subset of uh, it's the people who don't put their all into the gimmick attack count and they kind of yeah. make it their own little personal soapbox. Wait, hey, damn it. I wish I could ha let me pull this one up. Incel pick up because there's a lot of good gimmick accounts, incel, but then like you know, lives lies. of TikTok, which could have been funny, has turned into like a whole like preachy. Like here's the address of the hospital, so just you can straight go. homophobic. Yeah, it's just. Uh, I mean, I'm like, okay, you really like just don't like anything it. gay. Uh, and they go, but we're just reposting whatever. And I'm like, yeah, but like you're doing it, and then you like post their address and like how to fucking call them up, and it's like, why are you doing that? <laughs> That's not fun or interesting in any way. Um, well, I'm trying to think what other great Twitter uh, gimmick accounts are out there. Oh, fake veto! God I hate damn that it. fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Can Twitter someone link me account. the fucking one that I'm talking about? The one, with the from incel what? one the with incel? the incel replies. Yeah, he posted this thing saying, "Oh, this is this is my girlfriend. You wish you had a girlfriend like this." I found this so easily on my own fucking thing. And your point from this one was what? He posted something you found stupid. No, he turned into an asshole. And he was oh, yeah, fighting with way. you. Not me. No, this is just how gimmick accounts are. I remember seeing one where like somebody uh gimmick accounts drop uh, dropping character is a good gimmick account. Yeah. <laughs> it follows That's all exactly accounts. what I'm talking about. And when about. they like, fuck up and accidentally retweet <laughs> porn on their main. Cuz I like them, but then I remember that I can't fall in love with them or like them too much. Yeah. Because they're going to betray me at any moment. A lot of people don't know how to uh, do a character. They don't commit to the bit. They're lazy. Yeah. Like me, I've been doing this Vito character for like years now, and you guys all like him. Dame Don Pesos actually sent in this this strange gimmick account that posted this. Uh -oh. It said, adding a P to LGBT is the most backwards and moronic thing I've ever heard. Please stop trying to piggyback pedophile acceptance on the back of civil rights strides LGBT P people have accomplished. They don't deserve that association. And that gimmick account was Vito Chiswaldi. Wait, what's wrong with what I posted? That's a good Because you're a gimmick account that's always promoting pedophiles and being- Oh, somebody <laughs> legitimately posted and they said, like, there was, like, an actual, like, science guy and he's like, it should be LGBTP for pedophile. And I was like, yeah. absolutely fucking lutely not. Yeah, no. All I've ever said about pedophiles is they ah! have a mental health problem and they need- Medical assistance. Not that they Here's the be. incel pickup line. Do you yeah. still think my girlfriend is 13? Like, what do you. This is not the gimmick here, man. Please stop doing what you're doing. But he keeps posting pictures of his fucking girlfriend. Oh, is that his actual girlfriend? Uh, yeah. He's posted her a bunch of times. Um. What? So the gimmick like account it's a Jurassic, is not just fighting with people? It's a Jurassic Park kind of situation. Like, you're standing on the shoulders of giants. And then you you use it to get out your weird 
uh, personal grudge. I think everybody, well, you know what I'm going to say is the biggest problem is uh, that the only Twitter accounts that seem to get any traction are gimmick accounts. It's like that's the only thing people care about on Twitter. They don't care right, about. Oh no! Here's the worst one. The I'm gonna say the N word one. Yeah. I'm gonna say the N word in uh, two weeks. And he I'm gonna did say it. the N word in a did week. Did he do it? No. He did some dumb did video. <laughs> you didn't see that? Oh man! I was like every day I would wake up and I'd be all pissed off, but then I'd be like, "Oh, remember in that guy's days, gonna say the N word." That guy's gonna say the N word. It was like an advent calendar for like adult straight men. And every day I would check, and sometimes you go like, "This many seconds, I'm saying the N word." And I'm like, "Ah, all right." I always I would thought text that like my family, yeah. like, eh, this guy, that guy's gonna say, <laughs> gonna say the N word in two days. Get ready. Where are you gonna? I wonder what time it's gonna be. Are and then the big day came, and he posted a video of him dressed as the Joker, making a drink, talking. Uh, and then he was gonna say it, and a weird like a Batman came out of nowhere and tackled stopped him. him from saying it. And that was the end of the video. And then he got his PayPal hacked, and I was like, "Oh, good, fuck you, <laughs> fuck you, fucked around with everyone's emotions." I always want, I always wanted like uh, one of these guys. Like PewDiePie should say, you know, Mr. Beast is like beating him in like subs. Uh, yeah, he should say like, if I beat Mr. Beast in subs again, I will say the N word again, <laughs> again. Yeah, because yeah, then on everybody on accident, on accident, then I will accident. accidentally say it again. Everybody would start subbing again. They'd be like, "Oh my god, we got to get PewDiePie <laughs> to say it again." God damn it, I can't find well, it. Well, it would have been an interesting problem. But yeah, but I didn't write any of these down. You didn't write anything down and you didn't prepare, so good work. Well, I didn't know you were going to take so long. If I had taken less time, would you have what? Made your problem better? Yeah. How? I don't know. I would have found stuff to don it <laughs> when I had more energy. Why did you do that before I came I don't know why. I thought idiot. I saved the links, oh, but my God. I guess I didn't. Well, what time okay, is it? Okay, let's see if Salvo Pancakes is here. Let's see if Salvo's here, here uh, who is supposed to call in at 7. Is it 6.59? Is that what it says? Mm hmm Cameras. There we are. Ask to join. Uh, don't show that again. Ask to join. Oh, is, is he running the meat call? I don't know. I, it kicked me out. That's strange. Yeah. Well, we're going to see if we can get Salvo on the line to bring us on one of his site. biggest problems. And I'll be real, I don't complete, I mean, uh, I don't completely understand the Salva situation. It's the idea that he's, he has a wife. I don't know. You don't know anything. I believe it's the idea that he's been sexting with all these different girls online when he is in fact married. If I'm incorrect, please, he'll, I'm sure he'll tell me. Uh, let me make a new, make, make a, a new, new meet. And did he message you at all? Yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Oh, he's coming in. Create, start an instant meeting. Okay. But Salvo used to be one of these guys who, uh, oh. No, that's just me. Uh, he had some videos, which he's now deleted, you know, where he used to come at me for some reason. Well, why could Why, why could on earth? That? Why, why would that happen? That? I can't imagine it. But then it seemed like he was kind of turning things around. And now it's, uh, it turns out he pees on people, or he wants to pee on people, or... He wants to. He wants. He wants women to be his his daughter and <laughs> to be on them. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I don't know if that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I, it is. I don't personally what do you want to do with women. I don't personally have a problem with them it. and stuff. Respect I just, them. I want to see what. I don't um, know. I think a lot of these guys, you know, they always they they want to establish this. Oh, I'm so Chad. I'm like ultra Chad. I'm like yeah, but like. You know, you're into clown porn and pee porn, and you're just as fucked as everybody else. And that's fine, mm -hmm. as long as you own up to it. Why? Why what do you got to own up, up to it? it? For the same yeah. reason as all these masculinity guys who go, I'm the ultimate man. I would never put a dildo in my ass. And then you find out all they do is put dildos in their <laughs> ass. It's like their favorite <laughs> fucking thing in the world. And you go, I wouldn't have a problem with this, except for all the times you told me you would never put a dildo in your ass. Mm. Which And now it's weird. <sighs> Um, there was a racist dog gimmick account. Ooh, that started barking at liberal racism, and everyone had a fucking uh, problem. Well, that's, yeah. that's, and there that's was another dog thrilling. account that started to donate to Planned Parenthood, and everyone had a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that? Yeah, there was a lot of interesting stuff going on during the whole Planned Parenthood thing. Like, I know we can't have nice stuff because mm. it's got to go to Ukraine. Shut up. But at least we could have nice jokes and stuff. I right, saw so we're sending Bots. a bunch of like those tanks we make that we don't uh, want anymore. We're sending those to Ukraine, so that's good. I wanted those. Yeah, everybody in America should get a tank. Just me. Me and uh, some other guys. Doesn't need to be everyone. Yeah. 
Just roll. You want to play like voicemails a little bit for him? Yeah, okay. Let's do some voicemails. We, could have, we have another problem. You could do another problem. Yeah, but I'm, wor- I'm worried if I do a problem, he's going to like sneak in. Well, that's okay. All Maybe right. he won't even sneak well, in. Well, I guess he could listen to my problem if he gets here. Okay. You want go me to ahead. do a problem? Yeah, sure. Uh, Dick, you ever go to like the store, you're just trying to walk around, push your cart, shoplift some magic cards, whatever it is, and there's always... Like, just kids running around this fucking store, or maybe they're with their parents or whatever else. And you're like, I know that kid's going to walk right in fucking front of me, like an idiot. Right into and he's my gonna dick. Be like, spinning around, yeah. and like looking at shit. And then I'm like, you know, I have to move to make room for this stupid <laughs> child, either that or knock him to the ground. My problem, Dick, is the spatial awareness of children. Or I'm always yeah. on those sites, or I used to be, you know, where you can watch videos of people dying. And well, like, besides that. Well, it used to be there was R watch people die, which was great. Oh, that went away. Then it became R make my coffin. That's gone now. Okay. Uh, Now I think you can go to dead it. Uh oh. Oh wait. Well, Vito, your problem sucks. We'll put it on hold. Now we have to go to Salvo. Salvo pancakes. Hey, Hey, sorry about that. I joined the first link. Yeah, it died. It It died on me. I don't know why it kicked me out for some reason. How are you? Oh, I'm so good, Dick and Vito. Good to be here. <laughs> um, so you've had, you've really been, um, you've been rolling with this been really great. I think, to me, I think he's handling it expertly. Yeah. How have you? Uh, how have you? Uh, how do you think your performance has been so far? I think excellent. I think it's been an A plus performance. I mean, how else am I supposed to handle this? Like, am I am I supposed to come out and like fucking deny and like cry? Woe is me. I t- I sexed twenty eight fucking whores on the internet. <laughs> twenty eight. How did you get any comedy done when you're sexting whores all day? <laughs> Listen, these girls knew what they were getting. They knew what kind of casual fucking sex escapades I was looking for. They didn't take too much time up. They were, hey, I texted them, hey, I'm horny. And they're like, okay, do you want to call? And they would strip down wow. naked and fuck themselves. <laughs> they would fuck themselves? Some of them would fuck themselves and like I would sit back like a fucking god and watch. So how'd you, sometimes- how did you get <laughs> undone? Like, which one of them like got all pissy and found out you were talking oh, to pissy, other ones? Vito, that's below the bed. You snuck that in there, didn't what? you? To make no, fun I didn't. Of I honestly didn't. Using piss words. <laughs> I, well, whatever. All right. So the first they were p- getting pissy and then they actually got pissy. Yeah. yeah. Who, so who how did like- the, the fucking, you know, the game? So my own people. So I kept like a quote unquote news team around to kind of like uh, troll along with me on the internet. Yeah. And uh, one of them ended up dating uh, one of the girls that I was sexting with. Oh. So she kind of like slowly told him some shit. Oh, what a bitch. I, I mean, first of all, that's fucked for you. But secondly, why the fuck would you tell a guy you just started dating that you're e- drinking piss for salvo pancakes? <laughs> <laughs> I know. And that guy's like still with her. It's like, dude, uh. like, have some fucking dignity. Don't date the girl that's fucking drinking piss. <laughs> Four minutes. <laughs> um, so it's like they uh, kind of curated all the girls together uh, to kind of come out um, with this big expose. So started but with this was all consensual, it sounds like. These women all, all consensual. consented all, to sexual misbehavior. All consensual. And that's what's so funny about it. It's like I uh, I knew it was coming out for like two weeks. Yeah. Uh, so once it came out, I kind of stepped away for five days, didn't say anything. And really, when I came back and kind of owned it and... Like what? Like what are they gonna do? It was consensual. You have. Adult well, I'll say this, sexting. Salvo. That was the one thing that I, I always say is that the guys who don't own it are they out themselves as fucking even? Because then you go, well, what the, how what weird are you? If you won't yeah. even admit to this, you must be up to something way worse. I think yeah. that's been Flamenco's biggest problem is if Flamenco just came out and said like, yeah, I jerk off to weird fucking stupid hentai of people spanking and shoving dildos up their ass or whatever the fuck else. We go, yeah, obviously he's into anime. He's into weird shit. <laughs> yeah. It's the denying it and trying to be like, well, you actually, you don't understand blah, blah. Well, yeah, but then Flamenco is in bullshit. that German like pedophile steam. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. That, <laughs> that you can't, that you can't own. He was Vito. That one I you mean, can't he- own. 
Vito, you know as well as anybody, it's hard to own a. Pe- it's hard to own being a. Pedophile. You can't own being a pedophile, Salvo. You just can't do it. <laughs> you you tried. Word. You tried, Vito. <laughs> you tried and you failed. I did not try to own being a pedophile. It's not what happened, <laughs> motherfuckers. Um, no, but I can't be upset with you, Salvo, because it sounds like you are owning it, and that's that's actually very com- honestly. Well, you'd be upset with him if he was like, yes. "Ew, no, I hate piss." Well, no, because and also I don't think. Well, I don't think you've ever. I don't know if you're ever on the record of being like, "Oh, whatever." See, you had a problem with the way he was going at Flamenco, though, didn't you? You called into that show. Which show? Tommy something, Seacoast. Oh, no, or something? I just called in because in the past, Salvo made videos being like, oh, Vito's a sexual degenerate or whatever. Oh. Yeah. And oh. now, but now you are a sexual degenerate. I, yeah, I always was a sexual degenerate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so. You're having threesomes I with was guys. having a bit of a shooting fruity type situation where I was like, oh, good. Well, now you also what? are in the same boat. Yeah. You know, you're also like- a pedophile. We know, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> no, guys, we're and- having a threesome right now. The three of us. <laughs> is joke. that turning you on, Salvo? Yeah, yeah. This is, this is real. Ho- Usually I like skinny little Mexican twinks fucking my woman too, like Edwin. But, you know, I'll. <laughs> I'll well, I know. think it's positive <laughs> when young men are open about their their sexuality. I How young? Too. Not that young. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it sounds like you you've had bisexual experiences or, or hope to someday. No, no I've uh, not hoped to. I've hooked up with a couple very twinkies men, and hooked up. I kind of just let them suck my dick. You know? I totally understand that situation. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'm the odd man out. I'm the queer one. I know here. you're like <laughs> Salvo. Wait, what's your problem? Do you have a, a biggest problem for us? Horse? I don't know. Yeah, horrors. Okay, well, tell us about horrors. Why are horrors such a problem? <laughs> They're not a problem, man. They're so fun until they fucking do what all horrors do, and that's run their mouth. You know what I mean? Horrors it's running like, their mouth is the problem. Yeah, horrors running their mouth because listen, at Every sexual sexual uh, uh, experience I had with these e whores, they left satisfied. They left feeling respected. Yes. They, we always left on good terms. But in the back of my head, I knew one day that I'm gonna have to fucking uh, uh, reap what I sowed. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, it's, it's, you can I fuck do. Around with the whores. But the whores will always try to win at the end. Well, that's, that's why I don't, when I engage, uh, I don't sext with, like, anybody who knows who you are. Yeah. What you- <laughs> I wait, like, months before I go, oh, by the way, I have, like, a YouTube or whatever the fuck else. Like, oh. I keep that all private. Why? Because I don't trust any of these but fucking who cares? What are they going to go- come They're on? They're going to write a fucking medium article <laughs> about all the horrible things I made them do on camera for my amusement. <laughs> awesome. No, I don't want to deal with that shit. But yeah, but- <laughs> go ahead, Zalbo. You know, it's so easy to just get a fan to drink from the bowl, you know? (laughs) Wait, what what did you say to this one girl? Mmm, so mellow. It was so yellow. (laughs) Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah, I made her her drink a lot of water, but not... (laughs) You just said, go chug some water, get some liters in you. I want to make sure it all comes out good. I want to make sure that, like, that bowl's not, like, the majority not clean toilet water. It's I want you to fill that up with your urine <laughs> and uh, and make sure that you're doing it proper, you know? See, this but, is why you're not flamenco, is flamenco would go, oh, you know, I, I don't know about, yeah, I made a girl drink pee, but, you know, uh, if you just fucking... I mean, it, that's what people are saying, yeah. allegedly. That's what people are saying. You, Somebody said that to me. I mean, I don't know if you say that, then that's what it is. I don't know it is what it is. Got off on drinking her own pee. It was fun for everybody. Uh, it was fun for everybody. Yeah, she and probably had fun drinking. What does she say now? Does she say, I can't believe I oh, got... Oh, it's so... Is she saying you so groomed funny. her into drinking pee? No, because get this. The girl specifically, who's who's a sweetheart, by the way, who drank from the bowl has been the only girl to message me to say sorry, and she regretted even saying anything, and she oh. had fun and would do it again. <laughs> How did she fit her head in the bowl? Like, did she have to slurp? Like, she use a straw? Christ, I don't want to know. Exactly. Like a curly <laughs> straw? <laughs> no straw. She's a she's a petite young lady. You know, they can fit in good places. What kind of bowl was this? Like a dog bowl or just a regular bowl? Toilet. I think it was right. Oh, the it was toilet like a, bowl. 
Yeah. It was an industrial flusher toilet bowl. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go whoosh. So she, yeah. she peed in her own toilet and then, okay, well then it's diluted. It's not as, if you do straight urine, you're going to have a worse I time. I spent a lot of time with my head in a toilet. Next I'm time you're going to have a piss in a dog bowl, it. Salvo. Then and do you, you know get the so full funny? effect. Do you what's, know what's so funny? What? Days before she came out with her side, she was... <laughs> Going, she was going to a friend's house, and she was excited to pee on her friend's floor and lick it up for me. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. <laughs> how do you float that? Like, uh, how do you float something like this to these e whores? Let's make your problem yeah. e whores, e whores, yeah. e whores spreading. What do you call it? Rumors That's e whores. Fuck these fucking e whores. Well, there's a lot of sure e whores. Yeah, you know. Um, it sounds like she's a nice lady, though. So maybe she's not an e whore. No, she's. No, well, I mean, she's still an e whore, but. Yeah. This one's not a whore. She's a sweet little angel. She's not a whore. But, like, See, Dick? But after, um, like, as she finished drinking from the bowl for the first time, I kind of, like, sit up and I go, I'm not satisfied. And that's when I kind of floated around. I want the pee on the floor. <laughs> I want the nose right yeah. on the bathroom. Brown. And she's like, yeah. I can do that. I'm going to go to my friend's house this weekend. I don't want my mom to see me do this here. Why would her friend let her pee on the floor? What kind of fucking friend is this? Whore. Hey, horse guy, horse friend. I was going to say, are they both going to be peeing and <laughs> sucking up urine from the tiles for you? Uh, if they want to do that. So basically, it sounds like people are player hating. Yes. That's they're all this is. They're kink shaming. They're player hating. They are yeah. kink shaming, yeah. and I brought in kink shaming on this show as a problem. You yeah. should not kink shame. Uh, I heard you do that interview where you're like, I got so much consent, it would turn turn a normal woman off. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> but then I saw, I think it was uh, uh, Blow Blacks or Blow Blacks was like trying to browbeat this woman into saying like, well, did you actually say yes? Did you say yes? <laughs> That's like, the problem is all these like little concern trolls, all these fucking <laughs> incels like Bo Blacks who've probably never touched a woman. Uh, Bo Blacks, yeah. I love you. But shut the fuck up and let the man... Uh, trick women into peeing on the shit and sucking it up for his They love David. it. If women they love say this. they want to do it, how is that I know, a problem? I know. I know. I don't think it is a problem. No, and I, yeah. it's weird that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like when uh, when when um, I had the threesome with Edwin, it's like on my mind, I'm like, this girl is 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 so fucking like lost from reality that she's willing to hang out with Keemstar, me and Edwin at Keemstar's house. So it's like I knew Was that Keem she aware was that a threesome was was going on in his domicile? Uh I don't I don't think so, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Snuck that one. But by like him. yeah, like, like jealous I was, probably. Mm, I, I think he is jealous. That. I was well. He ended up fucking her after. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who is? He ended up fucking Edwin's girlfriend after. Dude, game yeah. started. She went, so after, so the week that um, she hung out with Edwin, and we went up to Keemstar's house. Keemstar and Brantley invited her on vacation, and she went on vacation with Keemstar and Brantley alone. <laughs> and I'm sure they had Edwin allowed that. <laughs> Wait, is that his girlfriend? Yeah, and she said, Bradley's "I'm going on a little vacation with two strange men, and uh, we'll see." No, what happens. Edwin, Edwin, and this girl didn't. They weren't like official. It's like it, like when uh, I no. met when I met this girl for the first time. Edwin was also meeting her for the first time. You okay, I mean? okay. Oh God, that poor guy. So his girlfriend <laughs> got <laughs> got banged out by you, and then taken by Keemstar and his wife out to the yeah. Keemstar and his <laughs> retarded wife. Whatever, his, whatever he, she can't hear right or something. Um, so did you have a falling out with Keemstar? Did you I guess I did. I mean, he's he's been trashing me pretty hard where I kind of have, like, no uh, no choice but to trash him back. You know? yeah. What is did he you trashing wait, you? Wait, wait, wait. Did you jerk off in his daughter's panties? I heard you saying something like that. Listen, I spent a lot of nights up there. <laughs> I spent a lot of nights up there I was lonely, jerking so, off on a lot of stuff. So Go ahead. When I was sexting with these women, I just naturally, like, finished on my belly and instead of like walking across Keemstar's house, I would sleep in Brantley's closet mm -hmm. slash like guest bedroom. So I would just find like a dress that she would wear and just wipe my uh, cum up with her clothes. <laughs> because cum goes everywhere and you need, it's so hard to deal with, right? Uh, yeah. It's Thank like you. I uh, yeah, voted up. So you, yeah. uh, so Keemstar's daughter's like dresses and stuff were your cum rag while you were there. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Is, how yeah. old is Keemstar's daughter now, though? <laughs> I don't know. Is she is. She it was, a, it, I thought it, she's like an adult, but maybe I'm wrong. It's his girlfriend. Uh, it's his girlfriend. 
she's like would be in the same high school as Keemstar's daughter, you know? Uh, <laughs> right. Oh, they're about the same age. Yeah, she's like twenty or something. Okay. But yeah, and she would always have like the cheapest, tackiest fucking uh fast fashion dresses from like Sheen and some bullshit. Mm. They made for great fucking like cum rags. <laughs> <laughs> you are a bisexual man. Paying attention to what dresses women are wearing. <laughs> and you uh, you no longer have a wife or a girlfriend, is that right? Correct. I am officially single, which is kind of just uh, feeds the fire, Dick. <laughs> yeah, if you were if you were sexting with twenty eight women before, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do now that you're like uh, that you're known as the sexter and the piss drinker? The biggest problem is is just finding new girls to sex. Like that's the yeah. most annoying part of all this. Yeah. I think you're going to come out. I think I think you're going to figure it out. I think you're going to find the right lady with the right ability to ingest human waste for your amusement. How'd the breakup go? Uh, my wife and I, we've been like trying to get a divorce for like over a year now. Okay. Um, so it's like we've been like soft, like separated here and there. Yeah. Um, and I guess this kind of just like accelerated everything. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a blessing in a way. It's, it's like, like, all right, let's end this. Pouring piss thing. on a fire. Yeah, yeah. it was. <laughs> I was so relieved about all this coming out. Uh, you know, she's uh, she's very fucking hot. I'm sure she's gonna have no trouble getting any dick, any fucking guy that she wants. Yeah. <laughs> Was she not wild enough for you? Is that why you felt like you needed to branch I, out? She was such she she's like like literally so beautiful, way above my fucking league. And she was so like proper and pretty. Yeah. She like she would never do any of this stuff. And, you like, couldn't I treat never, her like a whore. I would I would never not treat her like, like a queen. So it's yeah. like she wasn't into any of this shit. <laughs> that sucks. Good for you. Right yeah. at the height of... Are you... Uh, uh, so now that you're like... Are you cut free of Keemstar? Are you going to go back on that show? Because I know he was oh, fucking... Oh, I'll never... With- I'll never go back on Keem... I'm free from... I'm free from everything that felt like a shackle. Oh, good. I loved Fireball. That was like my favorite new thing of the year that you were doing that. I hope you keep I doing that. I thought it was that. fun. It'll probably come back. It'll probably come back. Uh, are you going to Ralph Mania? I don't understand why Keem is breaking ties with you. Is he upset about what you've done or was it other shit? Well, he couldn't pull in any sort of audience without me. So right. now his now his this is his opportunity to pull in some audience about me. Who's right? that stupid girl he has on there? Because she's the dumbest bitch I've ever listened oh, to in my life. Oh, that's his girlfriend. She's yeah, awful. That's my yeah, she's Oh, the my worst. God. She talks yeah. like she can't hear. <laughs> yeah, hilarious. Yeah. That's the best uh, sort of like diss I've heard about her voice. I was trying to listen to his stream about you, and it's just two women going, "Oh my god, he's like so gross," and it's like so gross. I'm like, who the fuck wants to listen to these dumb oh, bitches? He's so gross. He's so gross. He's so gross. He's so gross. Doing that. Are you going to Ralph Mania? Yeah. So I want to issue an apology to Ethan Ralph Dick, and if you can, if you can get this back to him, exclusive. I can have him so- call in right now. Can you? That'd yeah, we should, yeah. We hold on here. Let I me want get you the, guys to mend that let bridge. Me get, oh my god, this is gonna work for once. Every time I try to do this, everybody hates each other forever. <laughs> let me get Ralph to call in right now. That'd be great because I do owe him an apology, and I am kind of I'm a you know I'm not upset at Ralph, but I'm upset at how he kind of. Uh, took what I had to say about Ralph Amania um, on Tommy's stream, which I understand. I understand. Oh, yeah. you were like, but talk, I do you were talking a little bit of shit. Uh, Somebody... I thought it was it was a joke. I thought it was a funny joke. I thought it was a funny joke too that you weren't going because you have to watch about o- optics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> let me let me text him this thing. Are you, you close can... to Jersey? Is it like far for you to get to that? Show? I live in I live in Ohio, but I got a lot of time. Yeah, you. you got nothing. To do. I mean, all you, you need, all you need is a phone so you can virtually piss on women. You could be anywhere. <laughs> you can do that from anywhere right. in the country. How are you gonna How are you gonna uh, top yourself after the piss stuff? Do you have other fetishes you want to get ahead of the Ahead of the game and drop on us now before they get outed by more whores. <laughs> I, dude, here's the thing. I think people really want me to get into poo. I can't get into poo. Don't do poo. Don't do. I can't do, don't do poo. I can't do poo. <laughs> poo is a whole, whole it's different too bag from pee. It's too messy. Pee is mostly <laughs> sterile, but there's a little. You got to be aware. There's a little bit of bacteria in there, but it's not as bad as poo. Yeah, and like every girl spit that I ever is bought, great. You can spit on a lady. So much spit's work. Fantastic. It's not. Oh, this is a lot of work. Spitting and like eventually uh, you kind of hit a point where you're like, I'm just like, I'm working by creating degrading things for you to do that you will do. <laughs> yeah, like, this yeah. is ex- this is exhausting. <laughs> it's like Sisyphean, right? Just coming up with like, okay, lick it off your parents' floor. 
lick it off the yard, like yeah. eat dog poop. Well, I know. I was going to say, well, we wait for Ralph. <clears throat> I think we're getting a lot of super chats. Uh, address to Salvo. Do you want to check the Salvo? Are we live chats? right now? Where the fuck yeah, are yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, we're live. Yeah. yeah, we're live. Are we really? Oh, shit. I was going to have you edit all this out. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is great. <gasps> I don't think so, Vito. We'll just it's check. all just Ray Epps No, shit. there's stuff. If you have questions for the content, if you have questions for, for Salvo, Salvo, let us know. It's all about Ashley Babbage. Wait, wait. Is that recent? Uh, oh, I don't know. Probably. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> What were you talking about, Super Chats? Well, I just assume everybody, I mean, every time I see these things, everybody always uh, wants to know what's going on. So who are your enemies now? Who've had, who's had, like, the worst take? Do you have any people Keemstar that you want is an enemy. We know revenge this. on? Yeah, who's the worst? Keemstar is a fucking enemy, a big time enemy. Uh, the worst, man. I don't know. Do you I have any stuff you want to like? What are you gonna? Are you gonna drop shit on Keemstar that you learned while you were working with him for two months? Oh man, I think that um, I have enough shit that I know how he lives, like a fucking like a like a dirty fucking white trash pig, where it's like I could just make fun of that until the day I die. You know what I mean? Like, uh, like how? Like Kenny Powers? Dude, he doesn't have a fucking food in his house. Like, he doesn't have a food in his house. Like, he is, <laughs> he, he, him like, and Brantley sleep on a fucking mattress in the middle of their family room, by the way. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Fuck? What? Dude, they have a mattress. That's pretty trashy. That is in the family room that is three feet from the fucking kitchen. They live like poverty people. No. Oh. Yeah. Why? Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's so weird. It's so weird. And like I noticed like after I started to come over after a month and kind of like poked fun at, they finally got like a like a mattress, like a like a mattress. <laughs> Could you frame. shame them into it? <laughs> yeah, I shamed them into getting like a mattress frame and like cleaning up. Uh the funniest thing about Keemstar's house is that he he, he mandates everybody wear shoes because the floors are so dirty. It's like <laughs> oh. <laughs> Does he, he have a that, maid? Isn't he like rich? He doesn't have like a cleaning lady who comes by. Oh, and like, oh, oh, Vito, it's you would think he has no fucking dollars in his bank accounts. I mean, he has uh, nobody visiting him. He has no friends. He has no family. He he lives twenty four seven with Brantley. I, so tell, <laughs> I have a theory that he lost a bunch of money on crypto and didn't tell anybody because he I was think really. He's broke. He I was playing he's around in crypto super I mean, hard, and there's a certain. Wait, wait, say that again, Salvo. Sorry, he's trying to sue me for twelve thousand dollars. So I think that why he's pretty broke. that's a pretty because stupid he, amount. He claims that me saying Brantley's first name, which is public information, is a breach of NDA contract, and he wants to he wants to get back all the money he paid me. He always threatens lawsuits. <laughs> he's threatening me with lawsuits. He's such a fucking he's threatening. He's, not he's do threatening anything. you. He's threatening you to repay the money that he paid yeah. you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And Dude. not like damages. Just, just give me my money give me back. Give me my money. What an yes. asshole. I know. Is I that know. real? It's a hundred percent real. 100%. Oh God. You I worked on it. a project with Keemstar. He didn't give me a dollar. What was it? What's her? What's her real name? Can we guess it? What does it start with? A B C D E F G. A. Uh, a. <laughs> Ashley Brantley. A Ashley. A Angelica. Probably nailed it already. Alia. I was gonna Alia. say. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Amber. <laughs> Uh, Alyssa. <laughs> Keep starting. Oh, oh, hey, who we got? Who do we have here? Okay, okay, okay. Let me, uh, Ethan Ralph of the Ralph Retard. What's Ethan, up, it's, it's Salvo Pancakes, buddy. How you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? Are you live right now, Ethan? Yes, I'm live. Okay, I'm I want to issue an apology to you. So I, I heard what you had to say about me, which I get because you've been backstabbed. You've been, you know, I get it. But I want to I want to say sorry, Ethan. And you know, I made a joke on Tommy C where I couldn't go to Ralph Mania because uh, I have to worry about optics. Very funny joke, I think. Uh, in reality, I, I I can't go to I can't go to Ralph Mania just because things got a little too hectic here. You know what I mean? And I got to take care of a few things before I can kind of commit to a trip. But I want you to know that I appreciate the offer, and I would love to do something like that. Just you know. This happened, but it has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with me. Well, I appreciate you saying that. I guess I took offense because, you know, I even sent you a message, and I kind of figured you might not be able to go, <laughs> obviously. Uh, a few things going on. Uh, Salvo, there's like, going to be a lot of piss there. 
What a guy. Well, I know. It guy. sounds so fun. <laughs> I kind of figured he wouldn't be able to go, but then you dropped that on there without saying anything. So I kind of took offense to that, I guess, a little bit. But, you know, I'm, I'm a fair man. You, you apologized and I can let it go. So sure. you unblock the me. spirit of comedy. I actually had already man. unblock him. I actually had already unblocked you because Dalton tagged me earlier. There we go. Uh, with some stuff you'd said, so you probably didn't see it, but yeah, I had unblocked you already. So is there a chance you might? Always. Is there a chance you might be at Ralph Mania Salvo? Yeah, is it money? Is it money? Is the money a problem? <laughs> no, it's it's not the money. But like the more and more I think about it, it's like that would be pretty fun to make an appearance at. You know, yeah, yeah I mean, where are you at? You're In a post-divorce man. You can go and uh, go wild. <laughs> In Ohio. Oh, that's right there. Atlantic it's like two City. hours. Is it two hours? Come in for the day. Uh, it's not two hours. It's not, not two hours. Two hours. Fly in for the work. day. That's like a two hour flight. That's no big deal. <laughs> I might do it. I might do it. Well, you know what? Think about it. We'll have rides and stuff. No, most people are flying into Philly um, and it's like an hour um, to Atlantic City and then about 20 minutes to the venue. So. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, so, Dick, you remember when I said that one of the girls that was pissing for me ended up dating uh, someone that was in the Salvo News team. That guy's in, that guy's in your chat uh, right now. His name is Parking Tigers. Oh, he's in his, our biggest problem chat. Yeah. Yeah. His, his girl, his 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 current girlfriend, which they became exclusive with, was peeing for me. <laughs> that guy, Parking Tigers. How can there. that guy be dating a woman knowing that Man, she you, peed you, on herself for a stronger, more capable man? I and, know. I know. How does he live with that knowledge? Uh, and then she told him, though, bud, you got to get rid of that bitch. Uh, that's bad. Ethan, that's what bad do you news. think about peeing on women? Yay or nay? Uh, I, you know, I don't know if I have an official public position on that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, haven't, you haven't made a policy <laughs> statement yet on your... Uh... Uh, no, I, it's not really... I thought it was funny, actually. I was reading the uh, the exchange... And then he has this bitch drink piss, and then at the end he goes, <laughs> "You filthy <fucking> whore!" It's <laughs> <laughs> cool, right? Like, just guzzle piss. I mean, what else can you say to the bitch? <laughs> <laughs> so, no. so my, my, I mean, all these people are talking about their survivors and stuff. It's like, no, come on, man. This is just. Yeah, I was going to ask Salvo. Are there any commentators who are trying to say that you're like a? sexual abuser or like a manipulator like is anyone coming at you hard oh they they're all trying to say that you, you know they all tried to say that at the beginning for sure any like, names in sure. particular that kind of irked you oh keemstar keemstar uh bo blacks nicholas diorio augie rfc xylee gets real they're all they all try yeah they all try to kind of you know paint me they feed on that drama company. As this crazy fucking sexual piss monster. When in reality, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lover, man. Like, That's it's the title these, of your album, by the way. Piss it's Monster. It's <laughs> if these Selma. whores express something that is going to turn them on and make them have a harder orgasm, I'm going to be all game for it. I'm going to be all game for You're it. You're a giver. I, you gave I'm them giver. What, what they needed. It was not manipulation. They wanted to pee Yeah, it's like when chicks want to hold you. your dick while you're pissing. Like, yeah. they all fucking, every guy knows that. Oh, can I hold it? Like, oh, okay, all right. Because then it's annoying because it's like, well, it's all, like, shriveled up and small. Like, I now want... I got to get it half hard, but then if it's too hard, I can't piss. So yeah. it's a lot of pressure. I think yeah. uh, this show, look, it's, you know, we we respect women's desires to uh, have horrible things done to them. <laughs> yeah. You know? we, and we, only we those. Respect That's them all we well, respect. Whatever other, if they want to vote, <laughs> they got to fight for that. But everything else, we'll give them. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen. Um, I go. do have to go. I have a girl coming over, so I gotta <laughs> go now. <laughs> All right. You gotta go buy some Gatorade. Yeah. Go get some. Uh, <laughs> go I make sure you got plenty of liquids. I appreciate it. Always a fun time with you guys. All right. Thank come you, to Ralph Manios. I want to see you there, Salvo. I'm going. We'll there. talk. All right. Go we'll hydrate. Talk. All right. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. Well, Ralph, there you go. What do you think? Well, you know, he apologized. So Water under the be, bridge. Yeah, I'm going to be. People say I'm a maniac, you know. I never accept apologies. He didn't say anything terrible, not, did he? He said what? He was worried about no, the optics? 
offense. Yeah, well, he kind of threw me under the bus for a laugh on Tommy C's show. That's why it's an offense. <laughs> it's like, okay, all right, if we're throwing people under the bus, I got a big bus. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's your whole game. Uh, uh, so, yeah. But yeah, they seem sincere, and it is what it is. Fair enough. Uh, but speaking of Ralph Mania, January 14th, killstream.live slash Ralph Mania. Tickets yes. still on sale. What you got to go, too. You know. All right, about Ralph, it. we're going to wrap the show up. We don't Thank go long. You, you go 10 hours, we go an hour, and we're done. Thank you, Ralph. All right, see you, man. Appreciate it, Vito. Y'all take it easy. All right. Well, we got Salvo in. We got a, it was a good discussion. Yeah. So, like I said, he's owning it, yeah. which is what all these guys need to do. What? Wh- who was that guy who shoved the dildo up his ass? Jack Murphy. All he needed to do was say, you know what? It's totally masculine to put a dildo up your ass, and I would have had infinite respect for him. But instead he went, I was at a really hard time in my life, and I couldn't pay the bills, so I had to make yeah, gay that porn made it so much a million worse. times worse, right? And you were So you took dick up your ass for money? <laughs> You're like a gay <laughs> prostitute That's then. That's infinitely worse. I was on your side, and he was just like, yeah, I like it. I like fucking... Yeah, just say I like weird sex, sex shit. And stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah, a lot of people do. Now it's like, no, I only do gay shit no, for money. Like, <laughs> what? That's <laughs> that was that's so not much worse. At all. Terrible optics. Nobody should know that. No. <laughs> Nobody should do that. No. Um well, what right. a show we've had. Uh once again, go. guys, vote on the problems at biggestprom.show. Our problems were false, false flags, Twitter gimmick accounts, and e whores. <laughs> what about your you do that, that one I'm saving time. for next week. All right. That's a good e-horse. problem I got cut off in the middle of. <laughs> uh, don't forget, uh, we also have a bonus episode, Biggest Problem in 2020. You can listen to that at patreon.com slash biggest problem to listen to Dick humiliate himself with his uh, lack of knowledge on the I'm topic so, of I'm, January 6th. I just 6th. can't fucking believe Making you. up crazy things about it. Uh, I can't Whatever believe that hell. you don't think the FBI is behind it. Was there any voicemails we need to do or no? No, let's save just do it. Save them for next week. Too All right. long. Well, we got a number of super chats to get through. Let's do it. Private for two says this is my favorite podcast, and it should be yours as well. Tell all your friends. Patrick Poo for two hugs and kisses. Devito for being a shoplifter. Cool. I think I talked about that on the on the bonus problem. I'm yeah, glad, I'm glad that's not public. Uh, <laughs> Pop quiz for two. Good audio. Great. Brett's for two says two. Private for two says B. Dominic for two says B. And Brett's man for two says B. Nailed it. You guys fucked it up real good. <laughs> Lane Steele for 10 says, Good day, Vito. Listening to the show from the Australian village, Wulan Tubi. Fuck you. <laughs> Fair dinkum. I've never heard a better podcast. Keep it up, Cobber. Have fun in Australia, you moron. Brett's man for two says fair. Dominic for two just posts TBF and expects me to read it. Not for two bucks, you moron. Coup for two, thank you all for not killing yourselves. Uh-huh. And Dominic for five says Vito voted for this. Yeah. Patty for ten. Hey, Vito, I rewatched Yang on InfoWars, and he referred to Netanyahu as a super killer. Ooh. Blink twice if an orange net and some chocolate milk will make an appearance in the comic. I do like you. Who. Oh, our super gotta, killer net and you going to team up? I got to isolate that clip because in the, what do you call it, in the Kickstarter video, it'll just be yay going. Super like, killer. Kanye, what's your favorite comic book? Super, super killer. killer. <laughs> super killer. That's a good clip. Wade no, Steele, cool. $1 in the box. Thank you. You forgot to type your thing, Lane. Yeah, I didn't want to type You anything. idiot. I don't know if you get to type something for a dollar. It might be. I hope not. I think you have to uh, give at least two bucks to type anything. Righty tighty ninety one for five. I look forward all week to the show, guys. Keep it up. Thoughts on Red Bar? I don't watch Red Bar Radio. I know they fight with a lot of people. Um, yeah, I know they fight. With I know they Josh. fight with Chrissy Mar. So I like that. Oh yeah, I like that. Yeah. They've, they've posted all about all the Christmas presents she stole from that family one year, which is hilarious. <laughs> uh, they do also fight with Josh though. Yeah, and we like Josh Denny. So yeah, um, I think someone told me because when we had Josh on. There's like a little flurry of like uh, red bar trolls. Yeah, like you can always tell when like people with like a, a one thing to say come in. And yeah. Like, all right, well, who? What are you guys from? Uh, and I think it was Red Bar, and somebody said that I was on that show like way, way back in the day, which is cool. It's possible um, you were. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. I don't know. Was Red Bar like like terrestrial radio, or has it always been an internet show? I just have I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm sorry, we don't watch it. We're not. We are stupid. I wish them well. Uh, And now they probably hate us for no reason. So God bless. (laughs) Dominic for nine ninety nine says, "What the hell is even a red bar?" Uh, R. R. And then he adds two to say R. (laughs) (laughs) I like that you have to fix your typo (laughs) with an extra super chat. (laughs) Yeah, it's some internet radio thing. Isaac Ox for two. The sperms is the fish, and the semen's is the goop. That is semen is the goo. 
Yeah, and sperm is what's in the. No, is semen both. I thought semen were the guys wiggling around. No, too. those I are thought the it was sperm. A, well, I thought they had two names. No, sperm is in semen, and semen is the fluid. But what's semen tag- fluid then? Seminal fluid is the long version of semen. Uh, okay. Why well, is it called fluid? Because it's fluid. All right. <laughs> Who's having sex with the chicken? And then Kramer comes in. Oh, my buddy Bob sacamano has got a deal on Stop semen. Stop making little Seinfeld riffs. <laughs> Stop it. It's not a good bit. It is a good <laughs> bit because that's all this is. <laughs> Rizzio for five says, the biggest problem is Vito make him, making me think of him after cleaning the goo out of his beard after visiting the Target security office. Oh. Well, I'm sorry. Private for two. I love that YouTube. No, stop this. YouTube fairies. You could say that. It's not. It doesn't sound like it. YouTube. Well, it's too, yeah. Tube fairy is not a thing. It's because it's not. You got to get it separate. Lemon sake for two. Tomorrow is the anniversary of the we tweet. Oh, great tweet from me. Oh, wow. Solid tweet from me. How still do you feel about up. that tweet? You it's wish still, you would have rephrased no. it. No, you should. You I should think wish it that still you had makes rephrased perfect, it. I think everybody who reads it knows what it means. Yeah, but and you they should just, still wish that you rephrased it. I wish I had just said, I'm going to rape all your fucking kids, because who cares? This is all stupid bullshit. Everybody, it's pedo jacketing. Everybody's a pedophile. Everybody's trying to fuck our kids. I was thinking today, they said James Gunn was a pedophile, and now he's in charge of Warner Brothers. What does that mean for me? It's just a path to the stars. All my favorite people have been falsely accused. So you don't wish nonsense. you rephrase the tweet? No, I love it. I'm glad. I'm okay. glad. Okay. I wish I had uh, rephrased it a little bit. <laughs> uh, human Dynamo <laughs> for five. Good Neil Hamburger joke. Why does E.T. love racist pieces so much? Because they taste like cum tastes on his home planet. Yeah, that's good. That's good. <coughs> that's an actual Neil Hamburger joke, though. Yeah, you're trying to make up. Your I own. made one up on. Did the he fly. already do his show? There was going to be a show. No, I said at the end of the month. I'll go. I would go. Colin Care for five. Are you going to have the dog lover on the show? I wanted to believe it was fake, but I'm told there is video. Biggest problem in the universe is white women. There's currently a woman who is going viral for claiming she is a dog fucker, and uh, some people are not sure if it's an elaborate troll or if she is actually having sex with her canine. I don't know. I told her to call into my show. She said she did. Would, you contact might. her. You made yeah, contact. She, she retweeted me and stuff. Okay. Uh, the jester mask for a big fifty dollars on the board asks: Is this enough for an Andrew Tate call to prayer well, ultimate crossover? Is that is that a possibility? I don't know if it could happen, folks. We've never let's seen. Let's ask the man himself. We've never seen. Let's ask the man. An Andrew Tate call to prayer. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. That seems like a little much. How, mu- how much is that? Fifty dollars. How many supercars? How many supercars can I buy? You can't buy any supercars with fifty dollars. Sadly, <laughs> you mean you can't buy any <laughs> supercars for fifty dollars, Vito? <laughs> yeah, I could buy. Hold on, let me get. Let me cue it up. Oh, oh. goddamn it! <laughs> oh, stop this! No crossover. This. this is terrible. Oh, I tilted my head the wrong way again. Oh yeah, this. This Ednon drop, it fucking drops, man. Here we go. Yo, I got the Bugatti. A b- Bugatti. Oh my God. Sucking my dick while I drive my Maserati. A b- b- a b- 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 yo, look at my Lamborghini. I'm Ladies, so mad that Jester Mask paid $50 for this Girls in bikini bit. makes my weenies <laughs> just feel awful. funny. I like my honeys like I like my cop. What? This is all this over my Why are you rapping over the Islamic That's what I do. That's, did, you not see my, did you not see my music video, actually? No, I didn't. Oh, I have a music video. And Rebecca, ba- music Rebecca video. Black said that, I, that she was 13 when she did her video, and I was 36. <laughs> so <laughs> if you didn't if you didn't think the Greta one was bad, you should see. This is pretty bad. Black. This is oh. pretty bad. I played chess. I'm not like oh the rest. God. I want to grab Nico's nuts please. and please. fuck him in the butt. Oh. Like in prison, I have risen. I'm Andrew That's Tate and good. I'm in the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. Oh, get out of wow, here, Andrew Tate. All, right. All right. All right. Jeez, get him out of here. What a nightmare. Uh, my two favorite. I want to brag, bits. but that was the probably the best freestyle rap that anyone has really? ever heard. Probably, wow. I 
Andrew Tate is an amazing musician. You should get some rap beats on the soundboard. We can. Uh... Not only was he doing his own beatboxing, <laughs> <laughs> all those rhymes were not only on brand mm. and funny, but also rhymed. I think I just. I think I just hate the Islamic cult of prayer bit. <laughs> 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 50, you don't need 50 bucks, though. I mean, if you give us 50 bucks, at least you didn't talk about Pokemon cards this time. Eric Rogerson for 200 kroners or whatever the fuck. Was it 20 bucks? 10 bucks? Love your head row. I assume you say you. Head it's head row. Yeah. yeah. Of course, cannot get this in one message, but Vito should sing I'm the Greatest song. Oh, you should sing that. What's the I'm the Greatest song? Well, I'll, I'll tell you next time. <laughs> Okay. Petty for two says sick. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. Some people said that cum was your uh, was your libertarian homeowners association problem. Mm, I don't think so because I think that problem was great. And uh, again, as we've discussed, even the man who discovered cum also hated yeah, it. Yeah, no, so you're right. You're right. I'm there you're with right. the scientific community. Toothless Ninja for nine ninety nine. Vito is our biggest and most favorite glowy. He doesn't deserve ten dollars though. Is that why I get nine ninety nine? Yeah. Petty for five. Vito, if you actually knew anything about what happened, you wouldn't believe the official story. Much such case. Fuck you. Yeah. Uh, Oregon boy for two. Vito, please peace yourself out. Thanks. <laughs> that for- means kill yourself. Oh, is that what that means? <laughs> is that what it meant? <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't get there myself. Gut for four ninety nine. Vito looking at Operation Northwoods. Yeah. Look right, wingers. The CIA obviously had good reasons to plot to kill Americans and blame it on Cuba. Yep. Where were you on that one? What is that? The sixties. Who cares when it was? Just get evidence. Happened. Get evidence, and I'll believe you. You can't call everything a fucking right wing plot. You actually can. That's called the First Amendment. Good. Do whatever you, you call want. whatever I want, whatever I want at all times. Okay, and I'll fed, sue fed, you on behalf fed, of the fed, families fed, fed, and fed, get three fed. billion dollars. From Alex Jones. Petty for five. Vito, look up PatCon. It's a stupid fucking thing that nobody cares about, <laughs> and I should kill myself. <laughs> Benjamin for five. Can you guys find some evidence, says the side who peddled <laughs> Trump, Russia, conspiracy. Okay. <laughs> Vito, fail for five. I just bought Enemy Weapon. You better sign it, Vito. Inshallah. Inshallah. I will sign it. Enemyweapon.com. Get yourself a copy of my card game. FedEx the Great for five. Gotta love Vito's unwavering trust of the U.S. government. Yeah. Not once have they ever done Yeah, okay, got it. I, I know. I'm, they paid for this, I'm and you won't idiot. read it, because it's anti you you. Don't you think that's a Not little... Not once have they ever done even a single thing even slightly dubious. Better. I'm saying... I know the government has done stuff, okay? But you can't say everything is a false flag. You should find actual evidence. And I don't think that Patriot Front group is feds. I think it's... There's probably some feds in the group. Uh, there we go. There we go. Okay, whatever. There we go. There's feds and in everything. Ladies and gentlemen, there's feds in there your book club. We go. There's feds in your fucking ladies mom's Ladies and gentlemen, class. there we go. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Everything's a false Ladies flag. and gentlemen, there All we have it. All school shootings are done by aliens. There Why we not? have it, ladies and gentlemen. Can we keep going? Keep there we have the it. Up. There we have it. Gun Ranger for 10, this time of year, where unfunny internet comedians let you know just how much they don't care about the Oscars oh, and how irrelevant God. they are. Yeah, that's so bad. Are the Oscars coming up? <laughs> Vito, I don't know, because they oh. are so not funny, and I'm not even going to watch I guess them. It I'm has- just going to try to get... <laughs> I'm going to suck my own <laughs> cock and then come in my beard. I will say of this. If they make like a slapping Chris Rock joke, I'm going to groan so hard because it's too obvious. I don't watch them. It's been decades of the same rant. We get it already. Gut for one ninety nine says Vito checks Snopes. He knows it's a lie. I do. Deadpan for 10. Vito must actually love cum because he keeps trying to suck <laughs> it out of the government. Yeah. God, I fucking true. hate you guys. True. Lemon sake for two. Only fans, girls pay gimmick accounts to reply to them. Oh, that would make sense. Interesting. John Riffs for five. So grateful Mama Babbitt was in prison today. Can't have her running around making more demons with men. She most likely drugged in order to seduce. I didn't think about it like that, but that's I'm true. glad that she is in prison. Who knows what she's capable of? Kara Fro for ten says for the contents and the laughs. Kara. Thanks, Kara. You're not an e whore. You're, you're lovely. Elbow well, for 25. I wasn't thinking about it until you said it. Well, I just. <laughs> I worry we do this show and everybody thinks we hate. That's women. a horrible. I said she's I not hate, an e whore. First of all, I don't hate whores. Okay. I like whores more than not whores. I know, but some women don't want to be called whores, and I understand. They don't want to be called not whores either, <laughs> jackass. Why not? I don't know what. <laughs> you know what? I'm just trying to be nice. She's you a, failed. She's a great moderator, and I appreciate her talents. And I would never pee on you. You should go oh, to a bro. random woman. Oh, you don't like like a whore. <laughs> well. <laughs> It's like a dirty work scene. Shut up. Uh, Elbow 25 for 4.99. Vitar did zero research on Ray Epps. 
It's called being an FBI informant, dum dum. Do yeah, FBI's dumb, dirty dumb. work to stay out of jail. There's no evidence he's an FBI agent. How would there be evidence of that? I don't know, sir. Pete Oxenham for four ninety nine says the peace stuff is a disgusting affront to biology, not even sexual, because there's no way for there to be pheromones in excrement. Uh, so you're saying it's not, se- yeah, but the sexuality is the sexuality is the domination yeah. of the woman. It's not about the more pheromones. women you have, and to do degrading stuff, the more powerful you. When are. you slap a woman to get off, there's not pheromones in your on your hands. <sighs> Vito, there's no there's no reason to ever hit a woman. But if she wants, even if it. she's about not no, not even then. You have to when you're strangling a lady, you know, because she asked for it. Yeah, because they're fucking nuts. Yeah. It's not because, like, you know, it's going to release pheromones in her throat. Even if she had her knee on George Floyd's neck, you should never When you take a bunch of poppers and uh, jerk off all over your boyfriend, it's not about the pheromones. If someone identifies- the excitement of almost having a heart attack. If someone identifies as a woman right at the last moment- Then you're gay. You got to go, whoa! It's like, you never hit a man with glasses. Like, I'm a woman! A uh, bad traveler says the fan art is in the comments of my boy Soprano tweet, so that's where the super killer Thanks fan art. Thanks for the link. Oh, I know what you're talking about now. And Plumbo for ten says Vito is very cute and clever. Dick is weird and loud. What the hell? Who is this fucking clown? A uh, smart person. That's Plumbo. Is this you? Yeah, I left a comment in the middle of the show, Dick. <laughs> well, Look, they got a Harvest you? Moon sixty-four speed run. <laughs> We know they're good. What the fuck is don't this? Don't click shit? on their fucking video. Why you call me weird? <laughs> yeah, because you don't. You don't have well, a. Har- you don't have a Harvest Moon Moon sixty four. Who the before fuck he are you, around. Dick Brain? <laughs> who the fuck is this? <laughs> Stop it! What the fuck Wait, is this? They're playing shit? it in Japanese. Wow. You're playing a Japanese fucking potpourri run. Yeah, I want to. They're going for all Picture the potpourri run? pictures. Whatever the fuck that is. Not very fast to me. Maybe it's not a speed like run. a real fucking poser over here. It's walking like, around. Okay, Harvest what a great way to end the show right, with a bunch right. of stupid Harvest Moon. Guys, I vote on all remember. the problems at biggestproblem.show. Check out the bonus episode at patreon.com slash biggestproblem. You called it stupid. What did I say? That guy. You said his stupid Harvest Moon No, it's great. Speed it's a great run. video. It's awesome. Give me the list of our bis- biggest supporters, oh, Dick. Shit, I love yeah. them all, and I uh, want to r- remind it? you that I didn't update this graphic for the month, which I will do next week. Mm-mm-mm-mm. I didn't oh, say I'll update me. it exactly at the beginning of the month, but whatever. It's you. close enough. I told you. You couldn't do it. Dick gives you time to, if you forgot to up, re-up your pledge, you can still get on the big I list. I told you so. Shut up. <laughs> Thank you to all our supporters. What a great show. Thank you to Salvo Pancakes for coming by. Follow him on YouTube if he's not already banned. Yeah. Don't forget to check out Ralph Mania coming January 14th. And uh, Dick, you'll be there. Yeah, you should come. I might come. I'm not going to come. I got too much. Aww, I got too much. You don't to have do. anything to do. Uh, I got to work on Super Killer. You could work on it there. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We could brainstorm. I don't want to go. I don't. I'm not going to go. Come on! <laughs> I'll t- we'll talk about it. Goodbye, everybody. Don't kill yourself.